job that lets me build some security for my family, I'd join a union. If I were busting my butt in the service industry and wanted an honest day's pay for an honest day's work, I'd join a union. I'd want a union looking out for me. Legal. It's not true. President Barack Obama, I love you. I'm pretty sure you're a wonderful human being, but when it comes to being a president, there are no good presidents. There's no such thing as a good president. There are only good people who hold power accountable. There is no such thing as a good president. There are only good people who hold power accountable. And when you do not hold power accountable, then these guys run around here, they make a million dollars. And once they make a million dollars, they run off into Martha's Vineyard. Let me tell you, Heroes do not make a million dollars and run off into Martha's Vineyard and then talk down to the American person. I'm listening. President Barack Obama, you said that you would join a union. I'd want a union looking out for me. Right now, there's a young man fighting for the American worker. He's fighting for Amazon right now. His name is Chris Smalls. Yeah, you know, we want to represent all people. You know, you're a worker, whether you're left, right, up, down, middle, red, yellow, green. We don't care. We want to make sure that um, it's all inclusive and putting workers in the driver's seat. That's the ultimate power. You know, um, if you start to align with certain groups, then uh, Amazon uses that against you. You know, all right, this union president from this uh, established union salary is half a million dollars. Yes. With me, they can't do that. I'm unemployed. President Barack Obama, go stand next to Chris Smalls and make sure that you help unionize one of the biggest companies in America, Amazon. Stand behind your words. You just can't give me pretty words and disappear. President Barack Obama, you got elected because you have pretty words. Or the better question is, how did you get elected? How did you get elected? Yo, because I'm black and I'm black. Yo. Tell the truth and get some power. You can't just run around and use pretty words and then disappear with your millions of dollars and then come back talking about you want to talk to me on Spotify. Nobody wants to hear from you on Spotify. Nobody wants to hear from you on Spotify, President Barack Obama. <laughs> the Obamas are leaving Spotify after they were unable to secure a deal. And by that, I mean, whenever their contract came up with their production company, Crystal, Spotify declined to make an offer, essentially passing on the exclusive content that they had had. And inside the story here is really interesting, which is basically the Obamas wanted a multi-million dollar Spotify deal without actually doing that much work. If you're not going to have a conversation on how the American person gets some power, if you're not going to stand beside the American worker to help the American worker get some for real power, then I don't want to hear anything from you. I don't give a damn about your Spotify deal. You're not fighting on behalf of the American person. And that makes me scream. Legal. Not true. President Barack Obama, you lied, sir. President Barack Obama, you sold me a dream of hope and change, and then you moved to Martha's Vineyard, and you didn't think about me another time. You old poverty pimp ass. Man, you politicians, you come over here and you make a million dollars talking about poverty, and then you go and move to the most richest, most affluent neighborhoods in America. You talk about poverty, and then you disappear into the Hollywood Hills. You have no idea what it means to be a working class person in America, and you don't care. That's the most important part of the whole conversation is you just don't care. All of this stuff is absurd. The political industry in America talking about politics is a multi-billion dollar industry, but the American person won't engage in how to get this money. Every year when they pass the budget, they make a determination on how they're going to spend the money on you, the greatest American alive. And if you're not part of that political conversation, then that money's not going to come directly to you. It's not going to come to the protecting the American family. It's not going to come to promoting the American dream of home ownership. Tell the truth and get some power. We have to hold power accountable. Heroes do not make a million dollars and then vanish off into Martha's Vineyard. There is no good tyrant. The greatest power in the history of the world is the most powerful citizen in the history of the world, the greatest American alive. You, the greatest American alive. <laughs> Dear President Barack Obama, please go help Chris Smalls. He needs all the help that he can get as he fights for the American worker. Right. You know, well, customers need to know that just because you hit one click buy, it doesn't, it's not magic. You know, these are real people being affected. You know, we want you to understand in solidarity with these workers. They come from your community. They're your neighbors. Mm -hmm. And we're customers, too, as workers. And the first thing we're fighting for is job security. Like you mentioned, they hire and fire people all the time. There's people that are homeless working there, people in shelters working there. 
go set a standard. Let these big businesses, let these companies know that the American person is coming to get their money and that's it. You can't run and hide from the American person. We want our money and that's it. Now it's time for good people to hold power accountable. It's time for good people to hold politicians accountable. Once you stand up and tell them little motherfuckers to sit down, they have to sit down. You're the greatest American alive, baby. <laughs> Please get excited about what's happening. There is going to be a political revolution in America. It's going to be led by you, the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.